Alright guys, it's uh, Wired Hack 75 here again. And, uh, well, it's kind of like Christmas at my house today. Got me a box from China. Got uh, 15 of these LEDs. A company called Sure Electronics. I've ordered from them before many times. With, uh, good results but anyway you can see here we got 15 of those they're uh, 5 watt white LEDs they run on 10 volts 500 milliamps cost 6 bucks each um, if you look down here at the data sheet got a 120 degree viewing angle and uh, they claim of course I don't have a light meter that at 500 milliamps puts out 260 volts um, you know you can get a good Cree high power LED for six bucks or a bridge Lux um, that'll run on less voltage but I really like the layout of these LEDs um, the macro again here. As you can see it's got a... Well, no you can't. There you go. It's an array. There's ten, I think, half watt LED dies in there basically. It's got positive and minus solder pad on each side so it's easy to daisy link. Just like a star board, you know. But um... They're really thin. Here's my mini screwdriver. They're they're super thin. They're thinner than most starboards. Um, and there's no dome on them. There's no optic. It's wide angle, 120 degrees. So I've got a couple of those uh, before. Um, you saw in one of my other videos so I'm using in this light here and uh, I've just got it stuck to a VGA chipset heatsink I got this light uh, it's one of these little halogen clip lights uh, for three bucks and I'm only running this bulb in this light off of nine bolts. Uh, it's just a 7809 regulator. So it's not getting anywhere near its full potential. Uh, really bright. I mean, it lights up the whole desk here. Um, it does a good job. So. Sorry, I just take my tripod off here. So anyway, that's that. It's um, six bucks. I've ordered all sorts of stuff from this website. Um, I pay the upgrade shipping, and they get it to me in less than a week. I also got one of them here, mounted just on a uh, flat piece of aluminum. Just a, this is a four-foot piece of aluminum. And eventually what this is going to be is a uh, strip light from my fish tank. And uh, let me put the camera down here for a second. Light that one up so you can see what it's like. Now this one I'm running off 10 volts. And I'm overdriving it a little bit. I'm uh, driving it at 850 milliamps. Um, simply because I'm just running it off of a wall power supply right now. I haven't got it running off a driver or anything like that. So, turn the light off here. I'm going to turn all the other lights off. 
So, with the exception of the 32 inch computer monitor over here, <laughs> um, as you can see, it's kind of a Frankenstein deal. There's the guts. <laughs> it dropped and broke and the case. Anyway, here's the light output from that 5 watt LED. Um, the nice thing about it is it is wide angle. So you can see here, uh, you know, I've got the LED flat and you can see the line on the wall where the output is so their measurement you know naturally they measure viewing angle at a uh, where 50 percent of power output drops off and this thing has got light output at 180 degrees obviously not full light output but so it's a nice wide angle it's a uh, It's a really white light. Um, there's no blue to it. It's, it's it's a cool white, but you know it, it really lights stuff up good. Uh, I really like it. Now the reason I went with these over, say, a starboard or something like that is really. For that price, at 260 lumens, um, if it is 260 lumens, regardless, the testing that I've done with it, it works great for what I want to use it for, which will be in some of my freshwater tanks. But um, just want to look down here real quick. Uh, it shows the color temperature. It's between 3,800 and 5,000 Kelvin. Um, I'd say it's probably closer to five. It's very, very white. 4300 is supposed daylight. So, you can see it. It's white. There's no yellow to it. And there's also uh, one thing I like about it versus some starboards. I haven't messed with all of the high power LEDs yet, but uh, even the ones from this company is that there's no color change from the optic. Uh, the light's the same color from one end of it to the other. Um, I also got this LED from that company. This is the 20 watt. And it's an array. It's switching the macro here. You can see it's got uh, 20 individual dyes in there. And they're each 1 watt. No optics, um, and this thing is a uh, pretty good size. If we look at it here, you know, it's like two inches by two inches. But anyway, I showed you the output from this in another video. It it's bright, and um, they sell it on this website. here it's uh, $18.90 and um, it says 1400 lumens 120 degrees 1 1.4 amps um, and the data sheet it shows 1600 lumens at 1 1.4 amps but um, yeah. who knows Let's say we really Shortcut it, call it a thousand lumens. Still a good deal, 18 bucks. Um, I got two of these. Uh, there's the other one here. So, those will light up one of my bigger tanks. Don't know if I'm going to leave it on this heat sink or not. The heat sink is nice. I mean, it will screw down. But, um, 
I might run it on something a little bit beefier. More like that. <laughs> this heat sink I got for uh, $4.50 at a place in Florida here called Sky Crafters in Orlando, Florida. Um, Uh, these these LEDs, like I said, I, I've got them running on a VGA chipset cooler. Seems to work just fine. I'm probably going to make uh, modules out of them on a heatsink like this. And uh, this is three bucks. Got two of them. So see how that works out. Because I know that with these real high power LEDs like this one here, if, if all else fails, I'll just put a Peltier module. Um, you know, thermal epoxy onto the cold side between the heat sink and the LED. I've done that before with some uh, 10 watt stars. Good good results kept it nice and cool so so there you go that's my uh, it's a little bit of Christmas today in June but um real quickly <laughs> yeah this place is a disaster it's a disaster lab before it one of my other videos is mentioning that we're going to be doing some battery life testing so I can really show you guys the efficiency of LEDs. This is a uh, array I built out of the Cree C503Cs. Um, I've got a lot of those. <laughs> I've got that was a bag of 500 that I'm probably more than halfway through. So I've built a couple modules and some other stuff I'll show you in another video. But this thing uh, runs on 12 volts. And you can see it's got really decent output. Zero heat whatsoever. It's not even warm to the touch. Um, you see it's got the current limiting resistors here and I got this from cleds.com um, it's a nice circuit board and a couple bucks I think I paid 15 bucks for 10 of them or something I, I don't remember but it holds 48 5 millimeter LEDs I'm running these are 10 ohm quarter watt resistors which actually underdrives these Cree LEDs by two or three volts or uh, sorry 20 or 30 percent I'd say probably running at about three volts and um, you can see that's a decent amount of light output and I'm running it off a little sealed lead acid battery here that's 10 amp hours and this board right now at uh... Well it's 11 o'clock so this has been on for 24 hours now and it shows absolutely no sign of dimming so we're just going to let that run let's see how long it stays afloat so that's it um, thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you want we'd really appreciate it and uh, stay tuned we got more to come